Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. In previous video, we have created View Employee component and we have configured a route for View Employee component and we have added View button to the Employees List page. Once we click on View button, we are able to navigate to the View Employee page. All right. Now what we'll do? We'll retrieve a employee by this ID and we will populate that employee on our view employee page. Alright, let's head over to the VS code ID and let's write the code to you know populate employee data on the view employee page. Go to the view employee component and within a view employee component we have a constructor within a constructor we have a state object. So instead of state object just create the property called ID okay and we want to retrieve this id from the url right okay so let me uh, show you how to get this id from the url we can get the id from the route so we have props props has a match and then params so from the params we can get the id okay so th this is the syntax to get id from the route and again we add a employee object to the state of the component okay and then call component did mount method here so we are going to use component did mount method uh, in order to make a rest api call so component did mount method is the best place to you know make a rest api call or make ajax calls because this method is called immediately after a component is mounted all right and if you look at the employee service.js file within this js file we have already have a method called get employee by id so this method we have implemented in one of the previous video and we are going to call this method to get a employee object by id and this method internally makes a rest api call so look at it's axios dot get, get method so this is a this makes a synchronous uh, call and it returns promise object so let's go ahead and let's call this method inside our componented mount method or right, just type employee service and let call get employee by id method and just pass the id to this method state dot id and then this method returns promise object so that we can call then method to handle the response and this is this will get a response and then arrow syntax and then just uh, you know extract the employee data from the response and we are going to call this dot set state method in order to set a response data to the employee object response and then data so this should be in a curly braces all right guys so state object has employee property right so we are going to just you know uh, assign the response data to the employee property using set state method pretty simple so once we got a employee data and we need to show this employee data on a web page right so for that we are going to write a jsx code here let's go ahead and let's design the web page go to the div within a div create a one more div and give uh, some bootstrap css classes like card body so we are going to uh, provide a border to the you know page so let's go ahead and let's use card bootstrap css class and then some grid css classes let's say six column and then we are going to display our web page at the center let's go ahead and let's use offset okay and then we are going to display a page title so let's use 
S3 element for that. Uh, the page title can be a view employee details something like this and we are going to display this page title at the center for that let's use bootstrap css class text center okay and after that let's create a div and let's provide a css bootstrap css classes like card body and within a div let's create a one more div okay and give again a bootstrap css class like row so we are going to show each employee uh, you know a field in each row for that we are going to create a div with bootstrap css class row here and within this row we are going to just uh, display a employee first name mm, for that let's use a label here a label and this should be employee first name and then create one more div and use curly braces to access the employee object fields and let's say employee dot first name and save the file let's first see how the employee first name uh, looks on a web page and then accordingly we'll display other fields let's save the file and let's go back to the browser so we'll get the employee object from the state so here we need to give this dot state dot employee dot post name so we need to access the employee object by using this dot state right all right so let's save the file and let's go back to the browser and we will be able to see the ram here so once i click on view i can able to see a employee first name that is ram okay let's display other fields so let me simply copy this row and paste here and let's change it accordingly this is employee last name And this is employee last name and this is email id and here uh, we provide uh, some breaks break tag here all right let's save the file and let's go back to the browser and let's see how it looks yeah here we go it looks pretty right so here we are just populated first name last name and email id so once we click on view button we can able to see employee first name last name email id okay and you can show all the employee details on this view employee details page so in our project we have only these three fields but uh, in real time project we might have all uh, you know a few more fields and uh, that you can show uh, on this web page all right guys we have successfully implemented view employee functionality all right great and in next video we will have a end-to-end -end demo of this employee management application that we have created so far all right guys thanks for watching i will i will see you guys in next video